I did as a community watch doing a First Amendment audit here in the city of Long Beach. Doing a First Amendment audit on the Superior Courthouse here in the city of Long Beach, downtown Long Beach. Out here with the cameraman, Desert Sentinel. He's all dressed up for court, so he might as well come to a court. Yep. We have Desert Sentinel backing us up. We also have uh, Johnny Five-O, California Guardian, and Laura Shark CW, and uh, Foxy. Uh, one block away going to the PD so um, it's gonna be good uh, uh, um, to see what, how they react about uh, public photography and as you guys can see we are on the sidewalk and look it right across the street is a neighborhood so they can't say anything I mean there's people walking back and forth getting out of school here we have a vehicle exiting and um, we've done I think four, four police uh, stations here in Long Beach and they've all uh, acted weird so oh uh, here we go it's the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department and they're tripping that we're recording them They're calling us in. Got him on the video camera. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture. Oh wait, he's walking away. He's walking away. So. He called us in, so he's keeping eyes on us. Is there a reason why you're taking a picture of me? Because you came up to me. Yeah, we don't understand what... Do you guys know the law that you know that if we're in a, a public sidewalk? Is she sheriff? I've never seen a sheriff's uniform. Can I ask you a question? Ma'am? Can she identify herself? Yeah, what's you your name? Badge number, please. Please identify yourself to us, ma'am. Can I get your name, badge number? Well, I guess, do we have to walk over and get it? Ma'am, can I get your name and badge number? We're free, ma'am. Do you know freedom? That badge doesn't give you a right to just come and tell people what they can and can't do, ma'am. There's three angles, so we're getting you either way. Well, how come you guys don't like the First Amendment, ma'am? You know, we have the right to come and uh, take pictures of anything we can see from a public setting. Can I get your name and badge number per your policy to identify yourself, ma'am? And what is your name and badge number, ma'am? Well, this uh, lady's gonna learn a valuable lesson. Yeah, she served sheriff security. But they're still part of, they still fall under the sheriffs. But it's okay. She's young and she's gonna learn a lesson today about the Constitution. She's a sergeant. Hey ma'am, how are you? We're just taking some shots for a little story we're doing, that's all. Just what take some pictures. What story are you doing? I can't say because it's not published yet, so we're not, we don't okay. know yet, yeah. But we're just taking some shots, that's all. Okay. Um, 
what website are you going to publish on? Oh, that's all I'm going to say, yeah, until we know, um, until we finish the story, yeah. So it'll probably be a couple of weeks before we finish it. All right. So. But maybe you could tell her, she came out and told us that we can't take pictures, and, and she's clearly wrong. This is a First Amendment protected activity, as long as we're on the public that's sidewalk. Right. Plus, you have Four Dice versus Seattle. You have California Penal Code 148 point G. But it's just, I think you guys need to, the education thing is because she came out and, and uh, um, made a false statement saying that we can record. So, yeah, we just want to be left alone. So. All right. Well. You have a good day, okay? Well, uh, I would like to tell you guys that there are going to be um, some videos traffic. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. And if we were crossing, they have to stop for us, man. I know the pedestrian laws. We have the right of way. So, yeah, that doesn't even fall into play because if they're coming, and I'm crossing, they have to stop for me, so thank you, though. Okay. Uh, can we ask for your ID? No, we, uh, California law, yeah, we're, we don't have a committed a crime, so we're okay. What's your name, badge number? Stella. Stella. Badge number, please. Can you, uh, can you identify yourself now, ma'am, since I've asked you about eight times? Thank you. Can I get your badge number? Absolutely. Deputy De La Torre, that's D E L A T O R R E. 47, okay. 64, 89, sir. Philip. Uh, Sergeant, uh, make sure not to delete that file because we will make be making a, a request for that footage. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The Hero Three Plus. That's not bad. I'm sorry. I said it's a GoPro Hero Three Plus. That's not a bad camera. No, it's not. It's actually pretty good. Is there any reason why you're wearing sunglasses and a dark hat? I'm talking. He always stuff. dresses to impress. I mean. Yeah. This is well, a courthouse, it, is it? No, I'm just asking. It's sometimes people try to... Well, I mean, there's sun out. I mean, look at the sun's beating down right on us. I'm well, it's like you don't want to be identified. Sun. Same with you, sir. Can I ask you a question? Okay. What the hell okay. gives you the right to identify me? I'm just asking you a No, 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 no. I'm asking you a question now. Why do you want to identify me? It's part of my job. No, it's not, ma'am. Okay. What's Raz, ma'am? What's, uh, tell me, tell me, uh, l l let's see how much your education. Yeah, that's what I thought. Walk of shame, look it. I look forward to it. You, you make yourself look stupid, man. Instead of making an example for these young deputies and show them what the law says, you're over here trying to exert authority you don't have. Just asked a question. Well, that was a stupid question. Excuse me? You're very defensive. Because I don't appreciate you coming out here first asking me for ID, which, which. I, I hold on, let me stop. Let me speak. No. Let me speak. You specifically know that you're not supposed to ask me for ID because I haven't committed a crime, but yet you want the ID to try to hem me up and run my name and try to catch me on something. I can ask you for ID. Can I, I didn't say you couldn't ask me. All I'm saying is that's what's wrong with the disconnect. See, the fact that you don't even understand that you're crossing the line is what has, that's why people, that's why good cops are getting shot because of the disconnect between you and understanding now what I'm saying. you're saying I'm going to get shot or? Okay, oh, now you're being no, stupid, man. Now you're being no, stupid. No, now you're being totally stupid. She doesn't, she can't even listen. Yeah, now you're being totally stupid. How'd you make sergeant? I'm just trying to tell you that the actions that disconnect the public between the police is just those actions. You got these, this lady trying to intimidate us with her camera, looking down, I'm going to be on YouTube. All there's crime. Did you guys, no, did you guys see, did you guys see the Long Beach, right? All the crime. Yeah. And yet they're bothering a lawful, they're, they're, they're bothering a lawful activity. It's like, it's, it's, it's. Beyond belief that, that with all the stuff that you guys got going on, you have time, ma'am, at your pay rate to be standing out here and not doing nothing. It's a shame. This is what we pay for. The children we have. And you're going to eventually go back. And that's called the walk of shame because you're trying to intimidate us with that stupid little camera, which ain't going to do nothing. You know, we're photographers. We're around cameras all the time. So. Time. You guys are too old to be playing all these stupid little games. Like, why don't you teach these guys about the real law, the, the one that you guys swore to protect, instead of coming out here and intimidating people that aren't doing nothing wrong or trying to intimidate? 
Oh, please, yes. You know? Everything was fine. He was fine. That one lady didn't want to enter fire, so she came out saying that we couldn't take a, we couldn't do what we were doing. That's why you get what you get. You know, you guys are supposed to be law enforcement, but yet you're not enforcing any laws right now. There's no laws being broken for you guys to even be out here. Oh, it's a shame. I was trying to answer the question. I wear a big black floppy hat because I don't want cancer on my ears. Yeah, I mean, the sun's beating down. Yeah. Actually, he was he went to court today in another court. That's yeah. why we were there. That's why he's dressed that way. You know? But you guys are all dismissed now. You guys have a good day, okay? Thank you for being courteous. They're, uh, they're watching us over there already. No, thank you. I don't know. No, we don't. no, we're on the sidewalk. We only need that if we go on the court. That's no, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good day. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good day. 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 Thank you, ma'am. And you need to stay off her personal space too, but I wouldn't do that no, to you. So, be, no, thank you, ma'am. No, you. thank you, ma'am. What you like to do is it doesn't matter, ma'am. No, thank you, ma'am. We don't. Have, I'm telling you, I don't want it, ma'am. So now stop harassing us. No, don't take nothing from him. Don't stop. Okay, you're dismissed. Take your walk of shame.